I have two kids in the room at this moment, so let's see how this goes, shall we? Hello guys, uh, I am here to do a little bit of a talky talky video <laughs> about uh, my TBR and why I'm gonna stop putting out monthly TBRs. Thing is, at this point, I'm um, pretty happy with the amount of challenges that I have put on myself. There are quite a bit of them. Um, and it doesn't make sense for me to have a monthly TBR besides those challenges and besides the books that I am starting to review because it leaves me no wiggle room. and. We all know that we need a little bit of like mood read now and then. Now, I do have a cat already doing things that she shouldn't have. Sakura. Because cats cannot see a door closed because they think that it's in their personal duty <laughs> to get that door open just for the sake of it. <laughs> okay. I think she kind of calm down let's see if i can go on with this um as you guys know i'm doing i did put myself on a very strict challenge of following steve's dog new who um library tour of dune and try to read as many books as possible from that tour depending that if i can get them uh and if I can understand them and read them, if it's something that appeals to me. And I have been pretty successful. I mean, we are closing up on day 20. Uh, we are on day 19, so tomorrow it's going to be day 20. Um, and I will do another recap on how things are going. But I can say it's been quite successful and fun. And it's, it, it adds a lot of books on my monthly TBR. It adds like literally 30 books on my TBR, <laughs> depend taking off the ones that I cannot get or read. So let's say that I can read half of them. It adds at least 15 books. Um, cat, the cat, Sakura. Thing is, she doesn't want to go out. She wants just the door to be open because she can she wants the liberty to go out and as much i can understand that in the times that we are living she has to learn to live with it <laughs> are you here yeah, she's, she's just she's just there standing there next to the door anyway um where was i going with this oh this was a self-imposed challenge that it adds at least let's say 15 books per month but it's it's like a it it's super satisfying and i have discovered new books that i'm loving it and it's just like a surprise every day to see okay what am i going to be reading what have the <laughs> the gods decided to throw upon me i'm gonna have to to, to deal with that cat be right back and we're back no this is like the most professional booktube channel you guys will ever meet but we're gonna roll with it so i have that challenge and i'm absolutely loving it and i also have the read your bookshelf challenge and the buzzword challenge i'm probably gonna fail both of those this month to be honest um and i'm okay with it the thing is i started doing reviews I have a lot of backlog on my net Kelly to go to and I want to clear that. I want to make my net galley pristine. <laughs> That's the dream for the year. And I have uh, started on book sirens too and quite liking that. Why is now a cat snoring? For heaven's sake. Oh, let's deal with that one too. Okay, yes. Back. Let's see if I can finish this without pausing because of cats anymore. I'm just gonna leave this as it is. This is a total side note. I'm gonna leave this as it is, just so you guys see how mad, maddening some of my days are. Because this is my 24th over seven. 
I do stuff and I have to pause it because cats or other things that is happening. Sometimes it is maddening, <laughs> but it is what it is. I I complain, but I wouldn't trade them for anything else. I mean, they're here because I want them to be. Anyway, uh, like I can say, go clean my net galley and besides cleaning cleaning it, do more reviews than the ones I already have pending and keep up with book sirens. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing one. I don't think we, you can have more than one book at a time on that one, but I am, even if you can, I'm doing one book at a time on that one. Um, and I want to keep up working on my book reviews because it is a goal of mine to go somewhere with it. I am at this point working towards I'm working towards getting my reviews in like a state that I enjoy them fully and that I can like be fully behind it. So it's I'm on a I'm on a training phase, let's put it like that. I'm starting to understand my review voice and I'm practicing basically. So I wanna put more efforts on those things. I want to work more on that. And I'm even going to review for the sake of it <laughs> some of the books that I read that I do not have to review but I want to. Um, just just for practice I'd like to have backlog of course. So I am putting a lot of work on those books, the books for review. I'm going to... I'm, those are the books that I do not DNF. I read them till the end even if I hate them because I do want to have a fair review and I have hate quite a few of those even though I'm, I'm trying to be as picky as possible um, it's it's a process so with that in mind um, and having the already the challenge that I put myself with Steve buzzword on and uh, read your bookshelf those two <laughs> to be honest I don't take those two as seriously as I, I take Steve's uh, library of tour library tour of doom because I'm I'm having way too much fun with like the element of surprise it's I think it's what the part of that I love is like here is something that you never heard about or think about reading or just seeing this book for the first time now you're gonna try and read it and see what the hell is this i love that part <laughs> that's like the best part of it it's just the discovering of new books and being excited every day to discover a new book it's it's been wonderful so what i'm gonna do all of this talk to say that i'm gonna drop the monthly TBRs because I am gonna use those books because those books are books that I do not have to read either because they are, they are my mood reads basically and instead of me saying on in the beginning of the month that I'm gonna read X, Y and Z I'm just gonna pick them up as I go and talk about the ones that I actually want to talk about because some of them is just like I read this, it was fine, I cannot tell you much of it because it's the middle of a series or something and so it gives me the liberty to choose more books. That being said, I will be participating in March of Man of the Mah Mahmoud's. Mahmoud's? I hate that word. It's one of those words that I, I just can't. Yes. The March of the big elephants, big furry elephants that are now extinct. That. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, if you are seeing this video, next day you're gonna be a, a, a small TBR for that one. That's what I'm gonna put on for the month of March. But I'm still gonna do the warp ups because I, like I said, I wanna do this type of experimental warp up one just talk about instead of like being going through all the books that I read I just talk about highlights things that gonna say the same things that gonna change and all of that I think it's 
bit away from me. I really liked the way I did it last time, so that's what's gonna happen. And I'm gonna finish this now because it's getting way too long and I have rented and I have dealt with cats and you have seen me struggling with words, so what more can do you want from me? <laughs> Probably nothing. Anyway, thanks guys. Bye.